Hi there! In this video we are going to discuss monitoring text data quality and data drift with descriptors. And let us start from answering the question what is a text descriptor? Basically, a text descriptor is any feature which you can derive or calculate on top of the raw text. Let me draft some examples of text descriptors. So basically, it's a very straightforward and at the same time very beautiful idea. Imagine you have a dataset with raw text. For each individual text from your dataset, you can calculate quite a lot of things. For example, you can measure the text length for each text and then combine it in a single column. So basically, this single column will be your text descriptor, which describes length of your text. So that's structured data, that's the numerical feature, and that's very nice. Together with such straightforward descriptor as the text length, you can build quite a lot of meaningful things. For example, share of out of vocabulary words on your text, or share of non-letter characters, etc. It does really make sense to consult with your business specialist, analyst, or product manager about what are meaningful descriptors for your problem statement and domain area? Because you can build really a lot of nice, meaningful, relevant descriptors. For instance, it can be things like trigger words presence. And those trigger words can be mentions of some specific brands, or maybe mentions of competitors, mentions of some specific topics, and etc. So you can really build a lot of nice descriptors. For some problem statements, it makes sense to build text sentiment, or maybe regular expression matches. So you really can build a lot of things. You can build a large language models-based grading, which is a wonderful idea. So just imagine that your descriptors would help you to assign a score, or check does the output answer a specific question, or maybe what is the tone of the output. So you can achieve some descriptors by manual labeling, of course, but you can actually send all this data through the API to large language model and ask the large language models to answer those questions. For example, mark whether the output of your model answer the specific question or whether the output of your model is the correct JSON or whether the output of your model is the correct work in JavaScript code, etc. Right? So that's very nice. However, there are some caveats to that, because sometimes it's not really reliable, it's the model-based grading, right? And it can be costly, especially if you have a lot of text, because you send each text through the API to external model. And, well, you need to come up with the another set of prompts and outputs to track. So that's a little bit tricky, but I believe it's a very interesting approach. I do really like the idea of text descriptors because you can come up with the very meaningful ones and I want to share with you a blog related to the monitoring of unstructured data for large language models and natural language processing with descriptors that's very interesting and worth reading. And finally, let us touch a point of monitoring with text descriptors, because now we know that we can actually build a structured representation of our text using descriptors, but now how to perform a monitoring, and the idea is very straightforward. As soon as we get our descriptors, we have a structured representation of our unstructured data, so we can pretty much reuse all the rules and techniques we applied to structured data. Basically, we can measure descriptor distribution drift, we can use some rule-based checks like min-max ranges for our text lines if you have such descriptor, maybe expected share of non-letter non symbols, maybe a specific share of responses that match a regular expression, maybe a share of the outputs which are correct JSONs, maybe the share of outputs which are positive or have positive sentiments, right? Or finally, you can track any statistics which you can calculate on top of tabular, tabular data. For example, correlation changes between the features, which are descriptors in our case, and the target. So it's really, really nice. I hope you guys like the idea with descriptors, because it really does help to track a lot of things, but unfortunately, we can use this approach only in case you have an access to our raw text. Quite often, we have to use embeddings, which are not raw data, but luckily, we can do something for monitoring embeddings drift as well. Let's discuss it in the next video.